All right, thanks for watching. And today with a hat, because I found this hat in this room and no one's using it, so why not? Uh, so today I would like to evaluate an integral which I wasn't able to evaluate before. So I made some video about revolving a uh, curve around another axis and I realized there was a typo on my notes and it was very embarrassing. So I didn't calculate the integral, but now I want to redeem myself and calculate it. And by the way, I tried to put it into Wolfram Alpha and Wolfram Alpha just timed out. So this is an integral that the human can evaluate, at least in some time. So I won't do it as quickly as Wolfram Alpha, but I was able to do that. And in fact, notice it's not a very complicated integral. It doesn't involve gamma functions or anything. All you need to do is just expand out this integral, the square, and then just calculate each piece. Because notice, this is really equal to the integral from zero to one of x plus one half squared minus two times x plus one half square root of two x plus one quarter and plus the integral of square root squared, which is two x plus one quarter dx. And so we get three pieces, a, b, and c. And let's evaluate them. So let's take care of the first part first. So first things first, da, da, dum, dum, da, dum. Okay. <laughs> Integral from zero to one, x plus one half squared dx. Well, you can either use a u substitution or do it directly. An antiderivative is one third x plus one half cubed from zero to one, which is one third times three halves cubed minus one third one half cubed. And that's nine over eight minus one over 24. And so to get from eight to 24, you multiply by three. So 27 minus one over 24. So 26 over 24, which is 13 twelfths. So the first part is 13 twelfths. You can already see why, uh, but not MATLAB, but uh, why Wolfram Alpha timed out. So it's a long integral. So second part, on oh, that. <laughs> I was looking for my good marker, I finally found it. So, integral from zero to one of two x plus one fourth dx, that one's even easier. So you do x squared plus x over four from zero to one, and that's one plus one fourth, which is five fourths. That's the second part. And now, let's evaluate the middle one. So the monster of the integral. So. I hope I uh, put, yeah, I did put minus at the end. So let's evaluate just the positive side. So integral from zero to one of two x plus one square root of two x plus one fourth dx. So let's just use your u substitution. So let's transform that into square root. So u is two x plus one fourth. Okay. Then first of all, two x plus one to get from 2x plus 1 fourth to 2x plus 1, you just add 3 fourths. So u of 3 fourths, and then du is 2 dx. So this becomes the integral from the new endpoints are 1 fourth and 9 fourths. So 2 times 1 plus 1 fourth, 2 times 0 plus 1 fourth of, again, u plus 3 fourths. Square root of u, and then this one half from this uh, dx, du. And then the nice thing is you can just expand it out and those are just become power functions. So integral for one fourth to nine fourths. So one half u times u to the one half. So u to the three halves plus one half times three quarters. So three eighths u to the one half du. And then let's evaluate that junk. That equals to integral. So, sorry. 
Antiderivative. So one half and then u to the 5 halves. To eliminate this 5 halves, multiply by 2 fifths. So this already cancels out. And then 3 eighths. Okay, so u to the 1 half becomes u to the 3 halves. And you do 2 thirds. So the 3 cancels out, and the 8 becomes a 4. And that's from 1 quarter to 9 quarters. And so this becomes 1 fifth times 9 fourths to the 5 halves plus um, 1 fifth, 1 fourth, sorry, times 9 fourths to the 3 halves. And then the same thing with 1 fourth. 1 fifth to the 1 fourth to the 5 halves minus 1 fourth to the 1 fourth to the 3 halves. Okay, good. And we can simplify that. So this becomes so one fourth. Square root of nine fourths just becomes three halves. So three halves to the fifth, and then say one fourth, three halves cubed. And then square root of one quarter is one half, so minus one fifth. One half to the fifth, minus one quarter, one half cubed. And then if you do that and actually did the math, 243 over 160 plus 27 over 32 minus 1 over 160 minus 1 over 32. And lo and behold, it becomes 93rd over 40. So that is our C. And then all we need to do, sorry, that was our B. So all we need to do is just A minus B plus C which becomes the following, 13 halves, 13 twelfths, plus 5 fourths, so that's A, that is C, and then minus B, 93 fortieth. And if you do that, interestingly, it simplifies to 1 over 120. So what a nice simplification. So to connect it with the other video, the... Um, the volume of this solid rotated by y over x becomes 1 over 120. And take that ball from alpha. I did it. You couldn't. <laughs> All right. At least, on, at least on the smartphone. I think I tried it on the desktop and it worked. So, but still, pretty cool. So if you like that and you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.